Hi, this is Paul on the Plane, and welcome to Episode 6 of Faking Space. We continue our series on the Deep Space Climate Observatory, or DISCOVER, and its Earth Polychromatic Imaging Camera, or EPIC, here in Part 3. In Parts 1 and 2, we analyzed images from a pair of lunar transits in 2016 and then in 2015, and found significant inconsistencies as some of the images contained boxes and noise, but others had no boxes and no noise, and a handful even had two moons. Strange indeed. Part 3 here will focus on another set of images in the Epic Gallery from March 9th, 2016 of a solar eclipse. The link to the download uh, to all these images we are examining in this video are in the description, so you can do your own analysis if you'd like. Before we present our findings from this series of images, I wanted to point out that the images from the date section of the EPIC website are supposed to be raw or unedited. And as we've pointed out, we sometimes see NASA states that the images over in the gallery are reprocessed, quote unquote reprocessed, which means essentially that they've been enhanced color-wise. The images from the date section are supposedly not reprocessed. Some people may argue that NASA doctors up the photos before they release them, but that they do retain the originals. However, we've started asking for the originals directly from NASA, and they do send us the images we've requested. But the problem is, is that they send us the same thing as what they released online. Sometimes it's a larger file, but it's the same image and has the same problems that we've been pointing out. Okay, so I've downloaded the first handful of images from the gallery section of the solar eclipse on March 9, 2016, and I'm going to pull them into Photoscape and adjust the gamma slider here, and lo and behold, as expected, we have a tilted box that has been pasted onto a black background. Nothing new here. It is a prettier shade of lavender, though, and looks better than the dull gray color on the lunar transit images. It's interesting that the color of the box is different than what we've reviewed previously. Now if we go over to Forensically here and pull the same image in and then apply the noise analysis, we see just the box and the Earth that have noise, but the rest of quote-unquote space is noise-free. This is consistent with one of the Lunar Transit series, but not the other. Okay, now we're going to go back to the EPIC website and go to the date section, and let's put in March 9th, 2016 and as you can see the images are here as well. Strange that one of the Lunar Transit series had the same images in the date portion of the site but the other Lunar Transit series did not. So we're just going to download one and then pull it into Photoscape and adjust the gamma and as you can see no box. It apparently has been removed or as we discussed previously they take the time to cut out the image of the Earth and paste it onto a, an image of black paint. Some of the LRO images show they attempted to even remove the box, but it looks like that maybe now they're just cutting and pasting. You can check the rest of the images on this date and you will see that they are all consistent with this one. So, the so-called pre-processed images have no box, but the images on the gallery page all have a box, even though they do not say they were reprocessed. There's also no noise around the Earth in the date section, but in the gallery, there is noise around the Earth. So, which are edited and which ones aren't? One set has to be, since they're different. Maybe they all are. If that's the case, my question remains. What's the scientific value of anything that has been changed or manipulated? Okay. Before we wrap up part three of our Discover series here, I want to talk about the noise that appears to have been added to the images in the gallery section of the EPIC website. The reason I say that appears to have been added is because when I use the noise analysis tool on an image I've personally taken, it looks like this, or like this. Noise over the entire image, and it's consistent in its color and its pattern. But when we do the same noise analysis on one of the images from NASA that has a box and the appearance of noise around the Earth, we get this. The colors are different and the pattern is different. This is strong evidence that noise has been added and would seem to align to the same images in the date section of the EPIC website that have no box and no noise around it. Now, some may argue that NASA claims to use noise reduction technology on their images, but let's be fair, if that were true, then we should see noise reduced over the image of the Earth too, not just the space around it. 
Also, noise reduction technology wouldn't remove the noise completely from the dark areas of the photo. It would perhaps reduce it some, but not eliminate it completely. Okay, that will do it for part three of our image analysis series on the Discover Images given to us by NASA from March 9, 2016. We hope you've enjoyed episode six of Faking Space. In part four, we will have another big reveal as we wrap up our analysis of the Discover satellite and its breathtaking images it provides us from an astonishing million miles away. You won't want to miss it. On behalf of Archer Sage, this has been Paul on the Plane. Thanks for watching.